In April of 2018, to my parents' dismay, I left for South America for five full months to travel with my girlfriend. Fourteen total flights caught over the course of the summer. A total of four countries stamped into my passport, first starting in Colombia. With the help of apps such as Uber, Airbnb, Google Translate, Google Maps, the Avianca Airline mobile app, I managed to never miss a beat, nor a flight, or leg in the journey. A remarkably smooth transition from a daydream to plan to a reality. The trip unfolded exactly how I laid it out via online application plan. A technological miracle in action. Boarding trains on ancient Incan trails. Standing atop Machu Picchu, it was like walking on the clouds. Until my iPhone battery went bust and we were left in Cusco, Peru with no internet connection to guide us. We resorted to the old paper map style of navigation. At first, it felt alien. It felt mechanical and questionable, but it worked in getting us where we wanted to go. This was simply the default way to travel just 20 years ago. I decided to talk to world traveler Aaron McCormick, a full 22 years older than me, on his experiences gallivanting around the globe in his youth and how it compared to mine. Um, I had had my backpack pre-packed and I wanted to travel around and um, basically, I, basically I told my mom to pull over the car and I was getting out and just with my backpack and I was going to start traveling and you know she was horrified because there was no way to keep in touch. It was a different state of mind. We didn't have, we weren't reliant on the internet. We, didn't have access to internet, we didn't have iPads, iPhones, we didn't have GPS, we didn't have any of those things. Yeah, so basically you're just with a backpack and a map and no way of contacting anybody for an emergency situation. So when I used to hitchhike, I would, you know, if I'm a ride and somebody would pull over and it would be a complete stranger, I'd be taking 100% risk getting in the car with them. I've never met them before, never seen them before. Get in the car with full trust that they're gonna be safe. And sometimes they were and sometimes they weren't. And um, you would sit in the car for two, three hours with a, a stranger and you would talk about everything. Like you would talk about God, you would talk about life, you would talk about philosophies, you would tell jokes, you would, sometimes you would talk a little bit and then you would just like both be silent for a while. Sometimes you would have to figure out how you get out of the car because they were weird. You didn't rely on GPS or batteries or anything, you just had an old paper map and you looked at the map and the only thing you had to worry about is your map getting wet and then it would get soggy so you would try to keep your map protected wrapped in plastic. I ended up I can't even remember how many times I went across Canada, but it was up in like 10, 10 to 12 times across Canada. I bicycled uh, across Canada and ocean kayaked on the East Coast. Um, bicycled around France and Ireland and Scotland and England and backpacked and talking like you would find a pay phone. And in order to let people at home know that you were safe and you were okay and where you were, I used to find a payphone if I was in a town and I would call my dad and I would say, um, try to make a collect call and the operator on the phone would say, after the tone, please say your name and I would say, Aaron in Thunder Bay and then the, the phone operator or the, the, the machine would phone my dad and then they would say, um, will you accept a collect call from Aaron from Thunder Bay and then my dad would say no I won't accept it and so it would hang up the phone so my dad wouldn't accept my collect calls but at least he knew one that I was alive 
And if I said Aaron in Thunder Bay, he knew I was in Thunder Bay, Ontario. It was awesome. Like, it was so much fun. Like, it was a whole different way of life, you know, completely. And I kind of, in some ways, I only went to do it for one. It actually started out, I was only going to do it for like a few weeks, turn into a month, turn into three months, then it turned into a year. And then I, I liked it so much, I did it a second year, then a third year. And I just kept doing it and doing it and doing it. And 10 years went by.